What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. In this video, we're going to understand family types in Revit. So this is continuation for our Revit for mechanical design, professional certification, preparation. Okay, so we're going to differentiate between system and components families. So that is the two type of family. So you have system and you have component families. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to edit the system and component family. Alright, so as you can see here on my uh, floor plan, so I have this family. So when a component family is selected, so let's say uh, this one. Okay, so component family is also called a loadable family. Okay, so when a component family is selected, so you can see this option here. Edit family will appear on our contextual ribbon. Okay, and then again, component families are also referred to as loadable families. They are created as that .rfa files and loaded into our project. So that's our component or loadable family. So you have the edit family option here. Now, when a system family is selected, like for example, this duct here or pipe, so they are example of a system family. So when a system family is selected, edit family will not appear here on our contextual tab. So there's no such thing as edit family for system family. So system families are defined within our project file. Okay, so the type properties define also the system uh, system family. So if you go to the properties, with that selected, so you'll be able to modify here your duct. Okay, so the type properties define the system family. Okay, so it is defined within the project file. So there is no uh, edit family for your duct. So that's the sample of your uh, loadable family like this one. You see there's an edit family. So that's an example of loadable or component family. Same with your air terminal here. So there's edit family there. So that's a loadable family or component family. Same with your air terminal here as well. Okay, so your pipe here. This one, so there is no edit family here. So that means this is an example of system family so when working in the type properties like for example here on my type properties for any family so let's say for example i'm going to select this uh plumbing fixture here okay so when working in the type properties dialog for any family so i'm going to select your edit type to open up the type properties Okay, so you can click the duplicate here to create a new type. Okay, so this applies to your component and loadable family. Okay, so you can click duplicate to create a new type. So let's select that one and then you can specify here. Currently for my uh, urinal wall hang, so I only have two type here. So I'll, I, I have one inch uh, flash bulb. And then I have 3 4 inch flash bulb. So let's say, for example, I want to create another type of urinal wall hang. So like, for example, I want a 1 4 inch. So I'm going to select duplicate to create a new type. Okay. And let's say I'm going to call this like a 1 4 inch uh, flash bulb. Okay. And then I'm going to select your OK. And then I'm going to change here, let's say this one, the cold water diameter. I'm going to change that to like one-fourth of an inch. <laughs> okay? So be aware that when working with loadable family, which is what we are doing now. So this is an example of loadable family. New types created in the project will not be created in the original loadable family file. So take note of that. So even if we created a one-fourth uh, inch flash bulb here and then we selected okay okay it will not be created in the original loadable family file however if we're going to open this family from the project currently we are in the project if we're going to uh, open the family from the project 
it will open the family type uh, the family file with the new types okay with the new types so i'm going to select this and then i'm going to select here edit family and let's see what will happen here so i'm going to select that one and then as you can see it will now open our family editor okay so opening the family from the project will open the family file which is this one with the new types so how to check if the type that we created in our project file is created here when we open that file so let's click this icon here family types okay so i'm going to select family types here and then after that, you see there's a type name here. So if I'm going to click the drop down arrow, so I can now see there the one fourth inch flash bulb that we have created. So additional family types can be created in our family editor. This family types dialog is where family types are created and family parameters are added. So as you can see, we have several uh, family parameters here okay and then i'm just going to select here okay and then aside from that you have an option here uh, load into project and load into project and close okay so when loading a family back into a project so let's say i'm just going to use this option here the other option is self-explanatory so when you load this it will close the uh, family editor when you select this option so I'm not going to close the family editor. I'll just use this option here. So I'm going to load it back to the project. So I'm going to select that one. And it's now loaded. So if you're going to modify it. So let's say I'm going to select this again. And then I'm going to edit the family. So let's say I'm going to modify it. So I'm going to go to the family types here. And then I'll select here one fourth of an inch. So let's say I'm going to change the default elevation here. Like I'm going to make it one foot six inches and then select here okay and then i'm going to uh, load this into the project okay so before that you have an option if you want to save this file so you can go and save that if you want to override the file or you just select here save as if you want to save it with a different file name okay and then after that i'm going to select load into project so if you modify this family and then you load it back to the project when loading a family back into a project, a family already exists dialog will appear if changes were made to the family. So the first option here, override the existing version, will load the family back in and update the family based on the changes that were made in the family edi editor. However, it will not uh, update the parameter values. Okay, the second option here, which is what I always uh, select, the second option here will also update the parameter values. Okay, so I'm going to select that one and there you go. Right? So basically, this is the uh, family types that we have in Revit. Okay, so hopefully you understand the difference between the uh, system family and components family. So that's it for this simple video. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.